Kayla Nicole posted on her IG. She said, I do, I did, I'm done divorced. The caption says, really don't know how else to announce, but I owe y'all update because my marriage was public. That's all, moving on, toast to y'all later or not. No, it wasn't the kids. They happily live with their father since our separation. Rip me out the marriage. I've been acting brand new. This is the one said in the comments, he got full custody. Kayla responded, no, we share. He just wanted to have them so I can focus and heal. This is the one else said, heal from just the divorce, right? You know what? I'm a mind my business. Heal on queen. Kayla responded, heal from life in general, stepping back into working. He didn't cheat and I didn't either. Growth wasn't matching and causing so many issues. I was done, wanted more. Then people were saying that they knew something was off by the last song that she put out. Her last song title was, I Hate It Here. Kayla did respond. She said, that one was about a friend, but the one I'm releasing next is our story. Hopefully this means more time to focus on yourself plus career, which equals more content. And Kayla responded, yeah. So Kayla and her husband are still on good terms. He wished her happy birthday. He said, happy birthday, beautiful. I love you. And recently Kayla posted up a Snapchat of their family outing. So they're on good terms. Now let's talk about Neek and her boyfriend, Mr. Bacon, because recently Neek did confirm that they are still together. But supposedly there's a young lady that's sending out this picture anonymously to multiple people. Sip this tea wisely. I'm just giving y'all the heads up because I know it's going to make its way around town. I am going to speak on it before it ends up on a TikTok video where it ends up in somebody else's DMs or it ends up on the blogs. Supposedly it's a screenshot of Dwayne Bacon hearting the girl's picture. Then he said, hey, so I guess the girl is trying to make it seem like he was trying to talk to her. But like I said, sip that tea wisely. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Now let's talk about Chris Sales. Cause I have been saying since the very beginning with this whole Clarence situation, this is all about money. And recently someone from DDG squad actually released this information that someone gave them. Now this is an eviction notice. Now let me tell y'all the whole story. Joel TV being a good friend actually signed a lease so Chris Sales can stay in a rental home. But the landlord Paula didn't know that Chris Sales was staying in the home because Joel was the only one that signed the lease. At first she didn't really care because the rent was being paid and it was being paid on time. But then recently Chris Sales all of a sudden stopped paying and he owes three months rent according to this eviction. Now the total that he owes is $5,673 and he still owes this to this day. So she is taking Joelle and Chris to court. Now I told y'all something wasn't right about this whole Clarence situation. All of a sudden he came out of nowhere. He's putting up all these videos and this is why he owes money on his previous house. Now if he owes money on the previous house, I can imagine what's going to happen with the new house. And I'm pretty sure the new house that he's in is probably in somebody else's name probably not Joel because Joel's already messed up with the last situation he hasn't even paid the last situation so I'm not sure if his name is even on this new lease but it's definitely not Chris Sales because he's also in trouble as well y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to this situation until next time peace